What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including backstage heat on Liv Morgan, worrying Charlotte Flair news, Tony Khan fires back at haters, Bloodline member in AEW, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at backstage heat on Liv Morgan. Our top story today takes a look at whether or not there's backstage heat in WWE on Liv Morgan following her recent arrest. Morgan's arrest has dominated headlines across wrestling media this weekend and there was major concern amongst fans that Morgan's arrest was going to impact her standing with the company. Although Morgan is currently off WWE TV, fans firmly expect Morgan to play a significant role when she returns and there has even been calls for Morgan to be the one to dethrone women's world champion Rhea Ripley. The always reliable PW Insider had offered some clarity on the situation and it appears that Morgan has avoided any backstage heat following her arrest. In speaking to WWE sources this morning, while Morgan's arrest was not widely known within WWE before it became public, we are told several top executives were aware and had spoken with Morgan the day after the arrest, but had kept the information within a small circle. We are told that Morgan had already been penciled in as to when she would be returning to the company's storylines in 2024 and currently this is not believed to have changed those plans. The belief was she would be back in by the bill to WrestleMania and was very much in the mix for what we are told is a high profile program. They continued the report by saying, We are told that internally within the company, the arrest does not currently appear to have heard her standing. Morgan's always been well liked and considered a hard worker and then we're told by sources that while they obviously want the situation to be resolved ASAP, it's not an issue that's currently going to be put in danger of her being released. As several have pointed out to PWInsider.com, there have been talents with DUI arrests that have remained with the company and Morgan was not charged with anything as serious as criminally as a DUI. And finally, PW Insider reports that WWE are waiting for the legal process to play out. One story making the way in the company is that the vape pen, which allegedly contained a synthetic substance that Morgan was charged with possession of, actually belonged to someone else, but had been left in a jeep. We are told that WWE is waiting for the legal process to play out. Morgan is slated to be officially arraigned in February in Sumter County, Florida. As always, we'll keep you posted on this trending story. Next up, CM Punk wants to finish the story. This past week, it was announced that recently returned WWE star CM Punk was going to work a number of live events towards the end of the month. This is exciting news as Punk will be working live events such as the annual MSG show on December 26th and his opponent for his live event appearances will be none other than Dirty Dom himself, Dominic Mysterio. On Friday night, Punk delivered commentary for an MMA show and Punk decided to promote one of his upcoming live event appearances and hilariously he stated that he's been waiting since Dominic was 8 to punch him in the face. Come on out to the LA Kia Forum. Watch me beat up Dirty Dominic. I've been wanting to punch this kid in the face since he was 8 years old. Now he's legal and I'm gonna destroy him. Dominic has had a standout year in WWE. He's had the second most matches out of anyone on the roster and he's worked with names such as John Cena, Randy Orton and even his own father, Rey Mysterio. Whilst Punk live event appearances are being heavily promoted by Punk as well as WWE, there are currently no plans for any of the events to be televised. Next up, CM Punk addresses why he's returned to WWE. Speaking of the former WWE Champion, Punk took part in a rare Instagram livestream last night and Punk outright stated that he's returned to WWE as it's no longer about him, it's about everyone who chanted his name for 10 years. This isn't about me, this is about everybody that is behind me. That for the 10 years I didn't forget and chanted my name, I'm going to put the boots back on for all of y'all. We're going to get onto this journey together. So far so good when it comes to Punk's WWE return. He's worked well with everyone and even his mutual animosity with Seth Rollins isn't stopping the two from working a WrestleMania program with each other. Additionally, Punk has also been helping out at the WWE Performance Center, which is no doubt a role that Punk will be thriving in. Next up, WWE hosting a tournament to crown Match of the Year. In a welcome move, WWE will be letting fans decide the 2023 Match of the Year via their YouTube channel. They'll be hosting a tournament through the month of December and the matches in the bracket include Cody Rhodes vs Roman Reigns from WrestleMania 39 and Becky Lynch vs Trish Stratus from the Payback event. But what is your WWE match of 2023? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, concerning Charlotte Flair news. On SmackDown this week, it was announced that Charlotte Flair will be out of action indefinitely. A concerning report from PW Insiders indicates that Flair's injury could be a lot worse than the standard torn ACL. Charlotte Flair is still to undergo knee surgery in the weeks ahead, PWInsider.com has confirmed. 
We're told that the surgery is being scheduled around the holidays, which is why it hasn't happened yet. In speaking to one source about the injury, it was described as likely worse than just a torn ACL and there were additional knee injuries, but they declined to specify what there may have been. The torn ACL was rumoured among talents at Raw this past Monday. This is terrible news and it looks like Flair will be missing WrestleMania 40, which will be a huge blow for the company. It was unclear who exactly Flair was going to face at the event, yet early reports and rumours are indicating that Flair was going to go 1v1 with Bianca Belair on the grandest stage of them all. We at WrestleMania wish the multi-time women's champion a speedy recovery. Next up, Tony Khan claps back at fans. And during the Ring of Honor final battle media scrum, AEW president Tony Khan addressed the so-called constant attack that AEW is under and Khan has always didn't hold back. To be AEW is to be under constant attack. You do a great show and the next day somebody's saying something negative. You do five great shows in a row, somebody says something negative. You break the ticket record for the most tickets ever sold for a wrestling show in the history of the world and somebody has something bad to say about it. At this point, I don't worry about it. We just need to go out and do great shows week after week like we did. We were the number one show on cable this week on Wednesday. We beat every single show on TV on Wednesday out of hundreds and hundreds of shows across hundreds of networks. And if we continue doing it, everybody here is going to be in a good position. But Khan didn't just stop there as he continued his rant by adding, you can have a great day in the business, like do the number one show and people try and tell you you didn't do something great, or you can't break the world record for the most tickets ever sold to any wrestling show ever and have this massive huge success on pay-per-view and just hit a home run in. The wrestling's great and everything's great and it's still people are trying to tell you there's some problem with it or some detrimental. And he finished off by saying that people are gunning for him and AEW. To be AEW, no matter how good you do, there will be people coming for you, gunning for you, because that's what it is. There's a reason that why every single person who stepped into my position until now has gone out of business. I'm the only one left. Everybody who stepped up and put millions of dollars into this and done it week after week and there's no off season and you do it 52 weeks a year. It's a fight. And that's a credit to fans. I know what it is to be a wrestling fan 52 weeks of the year. It's hard. But it's also the most rewarding thing. That's why you can't get away from it for too long. That's why we always come back to do it. We're addicted and it's worth fighting. Unfortunately, Khan's rant overshadowed virtually everything on the Ring of Honor final battle match card as all fans and critics could focus on was Khan's endless clapback at his naysayers. What do you make of Khan's comments? Are they justified? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, a Blood member joining AEW? Our final story today examines the recent rumours that a Bloodline member may be joining AEW. It was widely reported this week that Zilla Fatu, who is son of the late great Umaga, was backstage at a recent AEW taping. Despite Fatu being backstage, a new report from Fightful Select has indicated there are no plans for Fatu to be brought in the company. Zilla Fatu was backstage at AEW this week. We have not heard of any plans to bring him in. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.